Hey guys, so this will be a comparison of the two more popular LBW grow lights on Amazon. Um, so this first one is the 2024 model. Um, here's the panel layout, and then if we go to the other one, I guess this is their slightly older design, um, being that it doesn't say 2024, but I honestly have no idea. But I think this one definitely is their newer model. So we have both here today. So the 2024 one is right here. And then here is the, I guess, the older one. Um, and there are differences, but they're both incredibly bright, um, well-equipped grow lights. But just to kind of break down the differences. So if we start with the 2024 one, you can see that the LED board is quite a bit bigger than the older model. Um, if we go to the official listing on Amazon, you can see that there's 124 cold white LEDs. So these cold white ones are these outer W ones. Um, and then we have 58 warm white LEDs. And these are the ones right here that say Y. And then we again, we have on the inside another row of cold white LEDs. And then we have two strips of red LEDs coming down here, as we can see from the picture, the two red lines in the middle and we have 24 other red LEDs. And then, pretty cool, we have four UV and four IR LEDs on the 2024 model as well. Um, and you can see the diodes listed right here. So there's an IR right here, and here, and then UV, UV. And then we have the same thing on this side, so two IRs and two UVs for a total of four of each, which is kind of cool, actually. So. Pretty full spectrum lighting on this guy. I mean, there's an LED for essentially every every part of the light spectrum, so definitely pretty well equipped, pretty well covered. Um, now to jump over to their older model of light, so we can see the LED board on this one's a lot smaller, um, and we actually have these kind of focused reflectors over each LED. So I don't know if you can see this, but they're kind of encapsulated within like a little lens almost, whereas the 2024 model, they're just raw LEDs sitting on a board. So as you probably expect, the light from this one is a little bit more focused, um, whereas the 2024 model over here kind of um, showers out like scattered light more so. I mean, it's still very bright, but this one's a little bit more um, kind of a tight beam pattern, so to speak. Um, so if we go on the Amazon listing and see what kind of LEDs this one has, so definitely less of a spread of how many LEDs we have. Um, so we have 12 red LEDs, or I'm sorry, I'll start with the blue. So we have four blue right in the middle, which are lined by 12 red LEDs, which are lined by the warm whites, and then the cold whites are on the outside. Um, and then in each of these two things right here, um, these just house like the electronics to run, like the driver to run all the LEDs. Um, so one big difference right off the bat is that the 2024 model actually has this power brick um, that plugs into the wall, and then the power brick sends the DC power into the switch right here. And then this just shoots power directly up to the LED board. Whereas in their older model of light, um, you can see it just plugs straight into the wall and then it runs over into a switch. So this is still AC power, AC all the way up. And then it gets converted into DC um, in the driver in here. So um, they actually do make this model with uh, like a, um, what do you call it? Like a dimming option and a timer option but i just got the one that has like an on off switch um but this one is equipped with timer and dimming as you can see here um so this model also does get quite a bit hot more hot than the 2024 model so with the driver and all these leds being encased in such a small kind of surface area in here this back plate does get pretty toasty it never you never like are worried about it. At least I haven't been worried about it. Um, but if you let this thing run for a while, um, the back is metal, pretty thin metal, but metal nonetheless. So it conducts heat very well. Um, so this acts as a heat sink, but it also gets pretty toasty. Whereas this one, they made it look like carbon fiber, but it's a plastic back on here. Um, and this doesn't get, it gets warm, but not nearly as warm as this one does. Um, but the power brick on the 2024 model kind of fronts most of the heat, which is away from the light, which I kind of like because it could make your LEDs last a little bit longer 
with less heat being produced kind of within the, the um, LED board region. Um, the older light too, this isn't the stand that came with it. Um, this stand was actually bundled when I got the light. Um, so this one does come from the factory with, with a stand similar to this one. So they, it was black and kind of has the same, you know, tripod stance, but, um, this one's aftermarket and I just screwed it in right here. So this is, this came with factory as well. This little gooseneck. Um, yeah, so let's go ahead and turn on the lights and see how they look. So let's start with the 2024 model. So when you power it on from the wall, it'll start at hundred percent power. So if we just hit on right here. You can see that power is the light on, so it's currently running at full power. So we'll go ahead and take a look at the LED board here. So you can get a pretty good look at all the different LEDs like we were talking about. You can see the cold white right here, the warm white, cold white, red. Um, you can see the IR LEDs glowing right here. To the naked eye, they don't appear very bright, but our eyes aren't super sensitive to that spectrum. We can see the UV, UV, IR. And then same thing on this side, kind of a mirror image of what we just talked about. Um, but yeah, this thing is throwing out a lot of light. The video probably doesn't really do it any justice, if I'm being honest, but this thing will light up a room, which is nice. Um, right, so let's go ahead and turn this one off. And let's go ahead and switch this model on. So three, two, one. So let's go ahead and take a look. So. Like we said earlier, this does have a little lens cover, like lens plate over it almost. So the light that it produces, again, it's kind of hard to tell in the video, but it's kind of more focused and kind of all hits the ground, but it still has a really nice spread to it. Um, just maybe a little bit less so than the 2024. But um, from the spec sheets that these came with, they both say from the wall, they pull approximately like 25 to 35 watts so in terms of raw power lumen or yeah like lumen output they should be similar but i haven't verified that with a watt meter so i can't say for sure um but yeah they are very 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 bright um you can see the uh spread of leds in this one and then kind of coming to the back and feeling it i mean it's it's starting to warm up it's still not not hot at all um so it does take a while to actually kind of get a little bit toasty. Yeah, it's not, it's honestly not that bad right now. Um, but yeah, just to turn both of them on so we can see both. So here are both light shining right now. You can see the size difference between the two. Here's from the top, looking down. Um, and then the stand on this one, and then of course the stand that came with this one, they're both super adjustable too. So you can um, adjust each of these points right here and you can raise this really high up, but I have it closer to the ground right now because that's my use case currently. But yeah, super adjustable, um, overall pretty stable stands, um, no complaints there. But yeah, with both of, these, both of these lights on, I mean, I don't know if you can tell how bright this room is currently, but it's very bright. And then just to show you these two lights in action, um, I also have a pair of these gooseneck triple head LED lights that I found locally. Um, but here are the two lights. So here's the 2024 model um, shining on these, this cactus right here and this one. And there's one back there as well. And then we have a Monstera plant right here. Um, here is the other LBW light right here. Kind of show you this one. Yeah, all the LEDs on this one, even though they're kind of separated, like we talked about earlier, they do all kind of combine to form this nice full spectrum light. Like you don't see any reds or pinks. Um, that was something I was definitely looking to avoid. I didn't want to have to look at that horrible pink purplish lighting that some of these grow lights put out. I just feel like that's not very appealing for your home, unless you have, you know, like a dedicated room to where you don't care about that. But I don't have that. And these are kind of right in my living room right now. So I was pretty adamant about getting a nice white light that I could also use for ambient lighting in the room and not get a headache. <laughs> but yeah, overall, these lights are pretty awesome. I've only had them for about a week now, uh, but they've been running a lot. And so far they're holding strong. So I guess only time will tell um, with how well they'll hold up over the 
you know, next hopeful, hopefully years. But yeah, um, so far, I love them. Both super duper bright. And yeah, if you have any questions, let me know. But you honestly can't go wrong with either of these options. Show you the back one more time. But yeah. Alright. Thanks for watching.